What is the difference between good coffee beans and bad coffee beans? That is the question that we want to answer today and it has been incited by the result of lots of comments on this channel. I'm often asked, well Tom, how do you get such a good crema and such a good extraction? Well it has way less to do with the equipment and much more to do with the raw materials, namely the coffee beans. So we're going to talk about species, harvesting, roasting, and storage today. As many of you may know, there are two species of coffee beans, Arabica and Robusta. Arabica is often considered the superior bean with its sweet and acidic flavors. Robusta, on the other hand, can be more reminiscent of earthy or woody flavors. But to be fair, there are high quality and low quality Arabica beans just as there are high quality and low quality Robusta beans. Robusta beans do have two qualities that make it desirable in espresso blends. It has twice the caffeine of Arabica and it produces a much more robust crema too. And here's a fun fact. Robusta beans have a straight line down their middle while Arabica beans have an S-curve down their middle. So let's talk about harvesting. One property of harvesting that may affect the quality of the beans is whether the beans are harvested by hand or with a mechanical aid. When harvested by hand, they can be plucked just at the right ripeness based on fruit color and firmness. Automatic harvesters, on the other hand, will take berries that are ripe as well as strip those that may not be ripe enough, effectively affecting the quality in the cup. Hand selecting the coffee cherries is more labor intensive and will add to the cost of the raw bean, but it will give a better cup. So let's talk about roasting. Roasting is another very important aspect of coffee quality. There are two main methods of industrial roasting, longer drum type roasting and shorter conveyor belt roasting. In the former type, Coffee beans are roasted in a large turning drum at a roast profile that requires about 15 minutes for the process to complete. This results in better coffee quality. On the other hand, large industrial roasters use huge long ovens and roast the beans on a conveyor belt running through the ovens. This process only takes several minutes and therefore reduces the cost of the beans. But this latter method also takes away from the quality of the roast and therefore the quality of the coffee in your cup. Bean storage after roasting is probably the most important aspect when considering the crema and the coffee cup quality. Large industrial roasters will generally not even include a roast or packaging date, but rather an expiration date. These are selected by the roaster and can be anywhere from 12 to 24 months from the roast date. Essentially, you could be buying a bag of coffee from your supermarket that has been sitting for nine months or maybe even a year and a half. This is the main cause for poor extractions and poor taste in the cup. Just like anything else, freshness matters. Local roasters, on the other hand, will generally include a roast date on their packaged coffee so that you know how fresh the bean is. It's normally recommended to use beans that are anywhere as fresh as two weeks from the roast date up to six weeks from that date. This will ensure a good crema and a nice flavor in the cup. So here is an important tip for you in regards to choosing coffee beans. Freshly roasted beans will often include not only the roast state, but also the bean origin, possibly the coffee farm, the bean variety, and maybe even the harvest and drying method. So as you can see, the harvesting method, the roasting method, the storage methods all play a part in the price of the coffee bean. In the end, the most important criteria to pay attention to when selecting your coffee beans is the roast date. Freshly roasted coffee beans may cost more, but you'll get a better result in the end. Okay guys, if we just compare these two beans, we've got the Santa Lucia on the left, these are the better beans, and here on the right we've got some generic supermarket beans. So the first thing that you'll notice right away is that these beans on the right are much, much bigger than on the left. In addition, the beans on the right seem to be roasted to different degrees. You've got some lighter ones like 
that one and that one and you got some darker ones like that and that the ones on the left are much more uniform in the roast additionally on the cheaper beans you will oftentimes find like partial beans like busted ones like this broken right there broken 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 and on the left side on the better beans pretty much all whole beans and that is another indicator of higher quality beans last thing to note on the right side the beans are quite oily and on the left side they're much less oily so again santa lucia on the left generic supermarket bean on the right let's pull a shot with the good beans and with the bad beans and check out the results <laughs> And now on to the giveaway. The company Coffee Friend, the sponsor of this video, has given me two variety packs of coffee to give away. Just write into the comment section below and I will select two winners by May 31st. Also, I'm going to include a voucher for 25% off of Coffee Friend lines of coffee. Just take a look into the description box down below. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope it answered some questions. And if so, please give this video a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.